Good morning, children. Welcome you all to our today's science class. Do you remember what we have learned in the last class? Okay, we understood about the various steps in the processing of wool, which are shearing, scoring, sorting, cleaning of bars, dyeing, and rolling of fiber into yarn. Okay. So, woolen industry is an important means of livelihood for most of the people in our country. But sorter's job is risky as sometimes infected the workers due to the bacterium anthrax. Anthrax bacterium cause a fatal blood disease called sorter's disease. Such diseases among workers in various industries called occupational hazards. As we know that the people those who are working in uh, mines, they have silicosis. Then those who are working in cement industry, asbestosis. And also now we discussed that those who are working in woolen industry, they may have sorter's disease. A lot of occupational diseases are there. So we have to take care in order to protect our body from such diseases. Okay. Now I am giving one activity to you. You have to do one debate among your family members whether it is fair on the part of humans to rear sheep and then Chop, to chop off their hair for obtaining wool. Okay. Let us move on to the next topic. We can discuss about the another type of animal fiber that is silk. Silk is obtained from silk moth. Silk moth spins silk fibers. Soft, lustrous fibers. You have to find out from your mother, aunt, grandmothers. They have what type of silk saris. And list the type of silk in those fabrics. Okay. Before going to know the processing of silk, we should know the life history of silk moth. It is very interesting. There are different steps in the life cycle of silk moth. At first, adult female silk moth lays eggs. At a time, they can lay hundreds of eggs. The eggs hatches into larvae. The larvae is called caterpillar or silk worm. It grows in size. When it goes to the next step of its life cycle, it is called the pupa. At first, the larvae weaves a net to hold itself and then it moves its head to and fro, then secrete a fiber made of protein which harden on exposure to air. This is the silk fiber. When it is moving its head, it is in the shape of a figure 8. It continuously secreting the fiber around its body and covering the full body inside that. The covering of the body of the larvae is called a cocoon. The further development of the moth is take place inside the cocoon. And that stage is known as pupa stage. Then from the cocoon, the adult moth is comes out. Okay. This is the life history of silk moth. Adult moth, eggs. Larvae, then they produce in cocoon, then further development also occurs in place inside the covering, that stage is called pupa. 
then female uh, adult moth is coming out from the pupa stage here you can see this is caterpillar this is the cocoon pupa stage and this is adult moth then it make a covering the cocoon is this this is the cocoon it is secreting a fiber which is made of protein and which harden on exposure to air the silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth can you imagine the strength of the silk fiber yes it is as strong as that of a steel thread very strong okay there are various kinds of silk moths are there they are different in their size shape and color their fiber also different in structure some are producing coarse fiber some are producing smooth some are producing shiny fibers like that one of the common silk moth that is mulberry silk moth in our country which is producing soft lustrous elastic fibers there are various kinds of silk fibers tessa silk muga silk kosa silk etc these silks are used to make various types of fabrics with that we are making various kinds of clothes in the last year you studied that first fiber from fiber we are making yarn by twisting the fiber we are making yarn from yarn we are making fabric from fabric we are making different kinds of cloth okay these silk fibers are soft lustrous and elastic so we can color them in different colors while making different fabrics children in india women working in various industries related to silk like rearing of silk moth reeling of silk fibers and processing of raw silk into fabric india is one of the leading country in silk production it produces more silk fibers but china leads the world in silk production women involves in various industries so the processing of silk is one of the important industry in our country okay students now i am giving three activities to you the first activity is collect pieces of silk clothes of various types and paste in your scrap book number 1 this silk pieces you may get from tailor shop okay the second activity take an artificial silk fiber and a natural silk fiber and burn these two fibers carefully find out the difference between them while burning and also you have to burn one woolen thread from the smell itself you can understand which one is artificial and which one is natural the third activity take a photocopy of different stages of life cycle in silk moth then cut out the pictures in the life cycle then you have to paste these each picture on cardboard or chart paper jumble the cutouts then after jumbling you have to try to arrange them in order okay first adult moth 
then eggs, larvae, cocoon, then that is pupa stage. Then developing mouth and adult mouth. Okay, this, this is the life cycle of silk moth. So, did you understand about the life cycle of silk moth? Okay, students, now let us observe a video of various stages of life cycle of silk moth.
this is the time to wind up. See you again in the next class. Thank you. Thank you.